Building the Fiber Channel Lab. By the time you're done here, you will be able to build a fiber channel lab for your own practice environment. And I hope that's exactly what you do. But I hope this is also not your first step into the fiber channel world. If you have yet to get oriented with fiber channel before you put your credit card on the line and start buying stuff, please check out at least these nuggets. And with that being said, let's jump right in and I'll show you what I've got. All right, so here's what I've got to build our fiber channel lab. First off, a couple of HP micro servers, just some servers I had sitting around, an old one and a new one. Uh, one of these will become the fiber channel target, and I'm going to set that up with some Linux software of some sort to, to present it as a fiber channel target. The other one is going to be an ESXi server, which is going to be running VMware that allows it to connect to that storage and use it. Underneath it is a Cisco MDS 9124, uh, again, another switch I got off of eBay. Uh, it actually had it. It didn't show it on the picture, but good for eBay, folks. Um, it had some SFPs in it, and these are all 4 gigabyte. I can see right on the, the little name here. It says DSSFPFC4GSW. Um, and that's great, but I actually bought an entire case of these. Hang on, let me flip this back around. Uh, entire case of these because you can get four gigabit per second uh, SFPs for about seven bucks for 10. So I figured why not just have some on hand just in case these are bad. Usually if, if you're shipping it with these in here, it's kind of a dangerous uh, thing to do. Uh, last thing is I grabbed a couple uh, PCIe NICs, which will be installed inside of these micro, uh, micro servers to make them compatible with Fiber Channel. It's got uh, four gigabit per second rating on these guys. Again, both of these cost me a total of $7 as well. I think it's 7 or $10. I can't remember which. Uh, so in total, this entire lab, not counting the servers because I just had those sitting in a, in a closet, um, this entire lab was less than 100 bucks for the Switch, the SFPs, and the NICs that will allow these servers to work with Fiber Channel. For 4 gigabit per second lab, that's not a bad deal at all. A couple items of note and lessons learned. Uh, first off, um, I had to uh, pry the entire front of this thing off because somebody locked this and I didn't even realize the uh, keys were there. So a note to myself, be observant. Um, second thing is these are micro servers. So I had to uh, take off the um, plate on the fiber channel uh, NIC that, that I put in there, or the HBA, I should say, the host bus adapter, um, because otherwise it wouldn't fit. They actually sell low profile uh, guards, shields, whatever you call these things that go over these things. Uh, so I don't have those, so I'm just going to have to be careful popping the fiber connection in, uh, because otherwise it'll pop those HBAs right out of the port. Um, so obviously lab environment only. Uh, third thing is I forgot to mention one of the equipment things I needed and I need to go grab another one is a multi-mode uh, LC connector. These are the LC ports, which is exactly what uh, these SFPs are geared for as well as the HBAs on here. So uh, I'll connect one of them right now. I actually have another one in another room I need to run Git. Um, and that will be our physical connection from the servers into the fiber channel switch. Okay, so I took a quick jump between the last segment and this one. You can see that I went out to get the uh, second fiber cable, the multi-mode cable that's now plugged into the uh, fiber channel NIC on each one. This one going to port one, right here. This one going to port three, good. So fiber channel is good. I haven't powered on this switch yet. That comes in a little bit. Uh, but what I also did was connect these guys to the production ethernet network. I set up a little Cisco 10 port switch right here. This server right here will go to port two on there. This server goes to port three, and then this NIC right here connects back to the production network uh, in, in the wall over there. So, so we actually have the, the production ethernet network connected here. The next step is to get an operating system installed on both servers, one of them being a storage target, one of them being a user of the storage. Then we can get into the fiber channel SAN and switch configuration. 
So the last thing I wanted to do is give you a list of the actual equipment that I bought from eBay. So this is the MDS 9124, as you can see, $26 with free shipping. Next up is a whole bunch of SFPs. These are the four gigabit per second SFPs that I'm using for the fiber channel. A box of 10 of them, eight bucks. And last but not least, the four gigabit per second fiber cards that I installed inside of my HP micro servers, two bucks a piece. But you got that $8 shipping charge, ugh. Nonetheless, this should allow you to grab a whole bunch of eBay equipment with no fear of breaking the budget. Building a fiber channel lab is really cheap. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.